hi all i'm just going through the community uh, which i have found this particular question right how to check the calculation field used in the sheets this was an interesting question so so we may have a lot of calculation fields in the tableau worksheet or a tableau workbook and uh, whenever we are going to use that particular sheets in a dashboard so that is what the question i don't know how to check which field used in the specific sheets so basically we may have let's take this as uh, an example i do have a lot of calculations so in each and every sheets let's say sheet 5 contains fixed windows and fixed subcategory sales and uh, <clears throat> and you can see like uh, for this sheet 6 i have one sum of exclude sales that is exclude sum of sales sheet 7 i have include so i have few of the calculations in sheet 5 6 and 7 okay yes we have to go for individual sheet to calculate but let's say i'm going to create a dashboard just track and drop sheet 5 and drop sheet 6 let's take couple of sheets here or you can drop here okay so let's select this particular sheet if you want to check from the dashboard okay not from the sheet level from the dashboard what you can do is go back select this particular sheet go back to analysis so basically we have edit calculation field we can see all the calculation or all the calculated fields which is present in the workbook but we don't have an option to select or to check only those calculation fields from this particular sheet okay but we have a flexibility where when you go back to filters you can see under measure names so we use subcategory okay but you can see what are all the fields which are used in that particular sheets by looking into those naming convention yes you can identify it's tough to edit each and every particular sheet but you can see here we have fixed average of sales fixed subcategory sales and we do have windows average of sales so these are all the three calculation fields now you can see fixed average yes by looking into those straight away by looking into the sheet name as well we can identify but in general if you want to uh, fetch or if you want to know the calculation fields which we have in a particular sheets yes it is very tough we need to edit each and every calculation and we need to check the dependency search but this these are all the options we do have and let's say let's go back to sheet or any particular sheet and uh, let's try to describe this sheet okay so you can check uh, you can check what what kind of a calculation field it is okay so on top of sales i created a sales copy so this is one point and whenever you are going to delete a specific calculation let's say i'm going to delete this okay so whenever you are going to delete a particular calculation it clearly tells that you have selected one field in the view to delete this may affect this will affect actually on our sheet 5 and dashboard 1 initially i don't think so we have this particular option maybe before 9th version i'm not sure exactly but yeah so from the latest versions or from 10 plus versions i think so we have this flexibility where whenever you are going to delete a particular calculation it clearly tells that you are using this calculation in one of the sheet so if you have all the calculated fields go back to analysis you can see you can you can uh, identify all the calculation fields here okay so and if you want to know the calculation fields which are used in each and every sheets if we have uh, hundreds of calculations yes it is tough but right click just click on delete and just note it down uh, like just go through this particular information like dashboard one and sheet 6 so let's say i have used fixed click on delete i use fixed percentage in only sheet 4 let's go for fixed i do feel this will used in multiple sheets 
let's delete this is used in only one single sheet so only sheet one of two so that's what the point basically uh, when you have when you don't have a calculation you can see you don't have an option to delete so just right click on total sales delete and this is used in only sheet one in that way first you can identify the calculation fields right you can identify the calculation fields or you know like we can use we can identify by making use of equal to symbol so hashtag and you can see equal to symbol to identify the calculation fields then you can delete don't delete just click on delete to get the dependency of those objects okay so that might helps thanks for watching and please to subscribe for more videos